In this video, I'm going to explain how I beat a level that most players purposely skip in Kaizo Mario World 2, and why sometimes I hate hidden coin blocks. Screw City is a level in Kaizo Mario World 2 most popularly known for not actually being played. You see, there's a particular part of the level that allows for the player to set up a rope glitch which then lets Mario climb across the entire level until he reaches the goal tape. Most newer hacks will have this glitch patched out, but this ROM hack was released back in 2007 before many popular patches were created. To initiate a rope glitch in this level, all Mario has to do is be climbing the rope as it reverses back into the concrete blocks. The rope continues to move, but Mario gets stuck in a climbing state, allowing the player to skip the rest of the obstacles in the level. But you know what? I think that's boring, so I played the whole level properly. This video is part of a new series I've been doing, so if you'd like to see more videos in this style, then please let me know in the comments what levels or ROM hacks you'd like to see, and don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can keep making these. This level is themed around sprites that rely on tracks, in this case, ropes and swords. To survive the opening of the level, all I have to do is hold up to grab the rope and then jump immediately to avoid the munches and the saw. As the rope falls, I have to jump up towards the left side of the conveyor belt and jump around a nasty hidden block before the saw falls on me. It takes a very specific jump to actually make the height onto the conveyor, and the hidden block is positioned so well as to force a very particular jump to avoid getting hit. Next I have to keep jumping so that I don't get pushed into the munches until the platform is in the right spot for me to make the jump. Then we have some standard rope riding and a muncher maze to climb through. This rope is also the one I could use to activate the rope glitch and skip the entire level, but nope, I'm doing this level the intended way. All in all, this section took me just under 8 minutes to learn and complete. This is where the level takes a huge turn. The first 6 jumps of the second half feature 6 hidden blocks, no joke. When playing the level blind I have no idea where they are, and even when I hit them it's hard to know where they actually sit or how many of them there are. Is that the same one? Did I hit it twice? Or are there two there? I've just opened the level in Lunar Magic to see what I was dealing with and it definitely felt like there were a lot more hidden blocks than this. Filthy. Anyway, these hidden blocks are forcing very specific jumps to eventually make it to the platform. Unfortunately for this next part, I couldn't find a quicker way to get the platform without waiting a cycle as the jump is quite tight and the saws spawn in very quickly. This next part is ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. No wonder people skip this level. The only way to learn this section is by trial and error. I see tracks going everywhere on the screen but I can't keep my eyes on them and the munches at the same time. So I had to unfortunately remember every micro movement I made for each section, death by death. Eventually I made it here, and the rest was a one shot, not knowing if there were any more hidden blocks or trolls to deal with. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of all these bullets and hope I don't need them for later. And that's it. The second half of the level took around 50 minutes purely because of the trial and error learning for the rope track. Was it that bad? Not really. Would I skip it if I played the level again? Yeah, probably. Sadly, the Kaizo Mario World games seem to be forgotten by most players these days, so I hope this gives some of you that play these crazy games a reason to give it a go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and here's the winning attempts from my playthrough. Mm-hmm. <laughs>